Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are going to jump in again this time. I'm going to jump in as... Who the hell do I want to play? I don't even know. I did Melting last time, didn't I? Um, I don't even know. I don't even know, you know. Maybe we'll go as good old Humphrey. I haven't played as him in a little while. What we got going on here? The Explosive Crossbow. Baby. Okay. The Explosive Crossbow is quite the start, to be honest. I mean, you get yourself some Bolt Marrow on this bad boy. And this can carry you easily through an entire loop, so... As long as I don't kill myself with it, which... The fact that I've said it already means I definitely end up, will, will end up doing that, but... No! Ah, oh, I wanted to go through that area. Oh well, I guess not. The fact that I can kill these maggots super easily... Oh, dude, I'm out of ammo. No. I need the needle. It's not what I wanted, but it's what I need. The needle's actually not bad, you know. The needle is not bad. I've had like the hyper needle, the big, the big ass needle, but I've not had this little one. This little one's pretty decent. Oh my lord, there's a lot going on. But it's okay, I can handle it. Right, crack that open. Straight on through here. Give me that bolty marrow, you know you want to. Uh, no, we'll go with scarier face to start with. We do start with kind of low health as this guy, so we can just be a bit, bit careful. But we gotta wait on that big bolty marrow. Like I guess this thing's ammo consumption is a little bit more excessive than we're used to. I'm gonna use my melee weapon for a, a hot minute here. Because there is a lot of maggots about. Also, these guys are being very annoying. That was a very good amount of rads there, though, early on. Right, get you out of there. This guy shouldn't be too hard at all. I reckon like three hits. Two hits. Two hits for that big boy. It is beautiful. Beautiful to see. And you dead as well. Good stuff. Micro grenade is kind of saucy as well. Um, in a piece we know to be just absolutely god tier. Um, don't really know what I want from these though. I could go with Boiling Veins just to give myself some safety. Yeah, we've got Explosions Burn in there as well, so I think that's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, the Explosions Burn thing is is kind of a nice addition to this, so I really don't mind that. It's a little bit of extra AoE damage, and it means if an explosion misses, it still hits. Good stuff. Yeah, we're killing it right now. We're killing it. I like it. Uh, we've got an extra bit of HP here as well at the moment, which is kind of nice. I'm going to leave you for a minute. The burn damage is doing stuff. Right, I'm going to try and stay safe from the, uh, the sniper boy there. I see you're trying to snipe me, but don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I will take that snipe and move on with my life. I'm going to use my little, my little needle here, though. So far, so good. Is there a guy behind me still? I don't know. I don't know. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm liking this. We've got, like, a nice amount of, like, AoE damage buildup. Um, I don't know. Do you know the fire spreads? So, explosions burn. Does that does that mean that with this, it explodes, burns, and then spreads? I'm, I'm going to try that out as a theory. Like, if I do that... I need, I need more enemies about, really. I don't know. I'm guessing burn is different to, uh, to, to flame, but I don't know. Let's try it out. Oh, dude, I have, uh, messed up some at Royal here, I think. I managed to get him. Wasn't as bad as I thought. Missed out on a good amount of rads there, though, unfortunately. We'll get some freeze going on that triple pop gun. Now, nah, I want to have a melee weapon. I need, I've learned... I've learned the error of my ways. My secondary weapon basically always needs to be a melee weapon. Infinite ammo and the ability to destroy projectiles is just too... It's simply too good. Right. Oh, that was kind of close. Did a decent job of dodging that, though. Still waiting on my bolty marrow, or at least eagle eyes. At least eagle eyes. For now, though, we sit somber, waiting for our destiny. It will come one day. That was a good, uh, 
bit of damage reduction there from our inner piece. There is a right lot going on right now. I, I'm actually kind of surprised I didn't take damage there, but again, inner piece, I think, blocked damage, so we're okay. Electric here. Lightning pistol, damn. I was kind of hoping for, like, an electric screwdriver or something like that. That would have been nice. We could go with long arms. I feel like long arms is not a bad shout. Um... But I'm going to go with Rhino Skin there and take that. I'm going to go uh, Double Swarm here and take off Frost. Gone straight through. Double Swarm to remove the Frost, I think, is not a bad idea. Frost is good, but Swarm with its, like, poison ability and just kind of its general ability to herm and stuff, I think is going to do us a better job. Right, I never really remember how difficult the um, thingy version of this guy is. I always underestimate him, the inverted guy. He's not too bad, though. He's just a very different style of boss to the other bosses in Nuclear Throne, I think. He just doesn't feel the same as most bosses, which is definitely not a bad thing. It's, it's nice to have a bit of variety, as long as it doesn't stray too far away from what you expect. You don't want the game to be entirely different, mind you. But I think that does a decent job of straying from what you typically expect, especially with the rework of like the new projectiles and stuff. But at the same time, it's still very nuclear thrown. Tis a good boss. I like it. So far, though, we're doing pretty well. Straight on through here as well. Still no bolt marrow. We will take the uh, extra feet, though. We could then go with splinter as well as our, as our mod 1. Why not? Why not take it the whole way? This thing's, uh... This thing's getting kind of crazy, and I'm just like... Building it up to be even better when we do get Bolt Marrow. I'm in Kirpian mode right now. Believer mode of the saying I, I definitely will end up getting Bolt Marrow. Three shots to take him out isn't too bad. I do think Mood Swing isn't doing anything, unfortunately, which I kind of expected, but I just I like had to nerf for sure. Because that could have been a real crazy combo if it did work. Magnetic crossbow, that's a good one, but I, I, I keep my, my needle for now. I do want to swap out my, my melee weapon though, the needle obviously isn't exactly the best. We haven't found anything better than the explosive crossbow yet though, I don't think. I, I, I am definitely a, a sucker for sticking with my starting weapons, like you guys know this. So I need to be better at swapping them out, but let's be honest, we haven't found anything better yet. So let's not jump the gun and just swap for the sake of swapping. It cares chests are where, it, where it's at for getting higher tier weapons, but sadly, not yet. Get some rads there. Go on through multiple inverted areas. I'm getting a lot, lot better at the inverted areas now. I'm, I'll say that, and I know for a fact, because I've said that, I'm going to die on this one. But I do feel like I've gotten better at them. Wait, may maybe, maybe Mood Swing is working, because I, I felt like there was a lot of AoE on that there. I don't know. Maybe someone in the comments can let me know. Okay. You you need to go, my guy. We're out of ammo now. Slap that on there for now. I'm going to try and save up some uh, extra ammo here by conserving it and using the needle, because the needle's actually doing a not bad job of killing these guys. Two, three hits. I think Scarier Face is definitely helping out, but still. Um, go with Euphoria here, why not? Honestly, the mutation choices now are like such a difficult decision. Um, I could be tempted to go through there. We have, I don't think we've got any mutations that are like really carrying us. So... I could be I could be tempted to go through there. The burning is doing a lot of damage, or at least a lot of damage ticks. I'm gonna give it a go, you know. Lightning's kinda nice here. Boiling veins, eh. Mood swing. Scary face. Okay, that's not too bad.
You see these dodges? I love this area because it's like, it's way more bullet hell than, again, as I was saying with the boss, it's like so different to what Nuclear Throne normally is, but without straying so far away that it feels wrong. Developer does a really good job of, uh, of designing new areas and new enemies and stuff. They feel so natural at the same time. Like, they still feel so vanilla and natural, but at the same time, they're so new. I mean, obviously as well, whoever made this goddamn jam is, uh, is a huge help. Like, sound is such a massive aspect of modded content that I feel is often really overlooked. If, this, if the game, like, the mod doesn't sound right, it just, it's never gonna stand up to the vanilla content. It's never gonna do it. Super Splinter Gunner, that's, that's quite tempting. But the ammo consumption of that alone would be uh, pretty drastic, I reckon. Right. This geezer over here needs to uh, submit. There you go. Look at the amount of swarms that fire off there. That's kind of crazy. Okay. Um, I will take... What does that throw but do? Skill decrease 25 cents slower. Keep 5 skill when getting hit. That's not too bad. I don't really use my skill all that much, to be honest. I just like it for its passive bonuses. Right, we do have some protection here. I probably want to be using my needle when I can, to be honest, to try and conserve ammo for the boss fight. It's not always going to be plausible, but when it is, I'll try. Like here, I'm just going to use my uh, my crossbow because it's a lot easier for us. Ooh, splinter mace. Now that that goes pretty well with our uh, setup, although it is an ammo-based melee weapon. I still don't know if ammo-based melee weapons like this can still be used after... Um, God damn. I don't know if they can still be used after uh, you run out of ammo, but they just don't have their ammo-based effect working. I'm not exactly sure how that works. Are we all good here? No, we've still got a few fellas up this way. It's a flare shotgun there. That's a blood hammer. I will take a blood hammer. Oh, wait. Blood hammer? If I miss, I take damage. Good to know. Right. Don't know how this is going to go, I'll be honest. The boss fight... The first boss fight should be easy, as long as I can just stay away from getting hit. The second one, though, the, the clone, I'm not entirely sure on. You can see how much damage we're doing with this thing. It's, it's pretty gnarly. Especially once the swarms go off. Yeah, there you go. Look. Not a problem. But this little... This little goofball right here... I don't know what to think of you. But, again, herming with the swarms. You don't have a ton of damage. Eee, not too bad at all. There you go, baby. Right, what does that Regal Vision do here? Press F to stun yourself and deal damage to all enemies near you. Gain an additional skill for the damage you deal using this skill. Uh, using this. Skill does not drain while stunned. Interesting. Seems decent. Probably won't use it a ton, though. Just kind of nice to know it exists. So, wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, yeah, that was, that was pretty decent damage. I won't say it's the best, but pretty decent damage. Oh, God, I'm, I'm a bit scared for this Kraken machine gun. I'm sorry, but I have not seen that before. I've got to try that out. <laughs> that sounds... Pretty gnarly. Right. Let's take this big boy out. Probably gonna... Oh, dude, I ran out of ammo so... What on earth? I ran out of ammo so fast then. Also, how did we not get Bolt Marrow that entire time, game? Just, just, just give... Give a bolt marrow. Dude, it it closed its mouth right when I went to interact with it. That's not fair. Um absorbing pause? I don't know. Absorbing pause is a weird one. This gun's kind of interesting. Just 
gonna kind of dip and dodge and duck and dive around all of this crap. Why are the micro weapons so low tiered? <laughs> they feel so much better than the regular guns in my opinion. Still haven't unlocked a golden one though. Not a single one. They've been in the game for like a month now. Still not a single one has come my way. I just want one cool run with them. Uh, we need the rads here, so I'll go and kill them. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? This might get us to level three. Nah, not quite. Oh, no, it did, it did, it did. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Back on through this way. Bolt marrow! Yes! My goodness, finally. It is our time to shine. See, now, the good thing about having bolt marrow now is it can do the explosive stuff it was normally doing, plus the actual bolt can do some real damage as well. It's pretty saucy. Grab that there. Cool. Away we go. Eagle eyes for even better bolt marrow herming, I guess. The slight auto aim will be nice. Eagle eyes with this thing's pretty good as well. Reduce spread. Bye. Got a few fellas down here that don't seem so fun. Oh, you cheek. Cheeky assassin boys. My goodness. Cheeky assassin boys. I finally got my bolt marrow dream. To be fair, I got really unlucky there with just the ammo. I had such little ammo the entire time. All I want is ammo. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't explode on impact and other times it does. When it doesn't, it creates problems for us. With enemies like these. Good, 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 good. Bolt marrow right off the bat. Yes! I willed it into existence. Makes life so much easier. I think bolt marrow is probably the strongest weapon-specific mutation in the game. Just because it, 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 can, it can carry you so hard. Easy. Please, with the ammo, though. With the ammo, please. I need a lot more ammo. Right, through we go. Plutonium hunger's not a bad idea here. I'm gonna go straight on through there. For killing maggots, it's bolt marrow is genuinely, like, the best thing ever. Where is he? There he is. Ah! The micro-missile! They're the, the too goddamn small! The goddamn things are too small! I'll never get used to that. The micro-missiles I just constantly miss because they're just tiny. Um, go with fists. Why not? Yeah, you can see at the minute a lot of the enemies were killing without the explosion. Good, good, good. We left that chest there as well. How many are we thinking? That's two so far. I've missed all the others. That's three. Hey, easy. Not bad, not bad, not bad. See, Bolt Marrow in this area would be absolutely amazing, but sadly, we're not good enough for that. Oh, I'm, just... I'm having a hard time. I'm going to give it one more go, because I am playing like Shiite at the moment. This weapon's so good, but yeah, the ammo consumption's a real issue. I really need to get something that's going to help me out with the ammo. Um, 
Let's go for Bloodlust this time and try and actually have some healing on our side. Because being low health is causing us many an issue right now. What a dodge, good sir. I commend you on that fine dodge. What a noise this guy makes when you touch things. Like, what is that? Why would you give me shotgun ammo? The ammo situation. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. It's not a great episode, I'll be honest. <laughs> Pretty light work there. I didn't make it very far. But goddamn, it's not my day. It's not my day. I should change weapons and try something new. But there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.